What is going on guys? So if you are watching one of my videos on YouTube, then you probably either just recently joined the military or you're thinking of joining the military. And for anybody who is currently in the military knows, whenever you go to any post exchange or you really go anywhere on post, you're gonna see all these signs and these flyers and stuff for the military star card and how you should get the military star card. So I wanna give some of you future soldiers or future whatever else, whatever branch you're gonna be going into, I wanna give you guys a little bit of advice, kinda of cover the military star card and whether or not you should actually get it. So first things first, I just wanna go over a few little basic things that I wanna get out of the way before I get into some of the details about the card. And I also wanna mention that the links and stuff will be down in the description down below. They're not like affiliate links, I'm not getting paid to do a video on like a credit card or anything like that. I just thought it was honestly really helpful for you guys because I know these things are just plastered everywhere for you to get them. And I just wanna inform you of what the credit card is actually gonna give you in return. Just first thing, this credit card is not gonna be like the highest tier credit card out there. If you guys are kind of like new to like the whole financial credit card scene and stuff like that, maybe you're uh, 16, 17, 18 years old and you don't even have a credit card yet. There's basically different tiers of credit cards. You have credit cards at the lowest tier, which are people who have really bad credit and they're trying to build their credit and you don't really generally get any kind of rewards for those. And then you have the second tier, which is actually where I would put this one, this credit card, and that is basically, you don't generally pay an annual fee, but you get a little bit of rewards. And that's basically what this one is in a nutshell. So with that being said, it's not one of the highest tier credit cards, so you're not gonna get you know a crap ton of rewards points and free flights and all that stuff that you can get with other credit cards, but it's definitely a good stepping stone for you to get to those. And then one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because I do think it is important for you, especially if you're going active duty to establish some kind of credit history. You know, even if you have, you're totally really against credit. Honestly, especially if you're active duty, like I said, there are credit cards out there that charge annual fees of $100, $450, $500 a year, but, if you're in the military, those annual fees are waived and then they, they just give you a ton of rewards. Like the Chase Sapphire Reserve card is like a $450 annual fee, but they give you a $300 credit for travel. But if you're in the military, then you get the annual fee waived, but you still get the $300 credit for travel. So it's like it just gives you a free $300 every year. So credit cards, you know, unlike what some people say are honestly really, really, really freaking good and you can actually make money from them rather than what people think is you lose money from them. So going into the first real thing that people look at whenever they're looking at credit cards and what they can kind of get out of them is the cash back, the percent back. Like what are you gonna get whenever you spend money? Because there's cards out there where you spend stuff and you get 1% back on everything. Well, with this card, with a, a military star card, you're gonna get 2% back on all your purchases but the key thing with this card is that it is only at post exchanges, at the post exchange online. So if you buy purchases online, you're gonna get 2% back there, as well as it also does a free shipping for online purchases, which is actually really cool. But going back to the 2% that you get on everything, okay? So you go to the PX, you get something, it's 2% off. And what that means is if something is $100, then you just basically got $2 off of whatever you just bought and that gets deposited into your account. So you get two points for every $1 spent. That's kind of how credit cards and stuff work. They generally just go off of points. So if you spend a dollar, you get two points. And then once you accumulate 2000 points, then they are going to give you a like military star, like gift card worth $20. Okay, so if you spend essentially, what is that $500, then you're going to get $20 back. Now, the one thing here is that this little card, it says that you basically have to use it on the post just like where you would use the credit card. This is not a card that you're going to be able to go off post and buy things off post. This is a card for on post purchases only. With that being said, if you are reserves or National Guard, then this card is gonna be worth to you a whole lot less because you're not gonna be on post all the time. But if you're active duty, then you are gonna be on post all the time. And so you could think about using this card whenever you're, pur when you're purchasing things on post. And then another benefit to purchasing stuff on post is at the PXs and at different restaurants and stuff on post, you will get 
10% off, okay? So you get 10% off, you go to Subway, you buy a sub at $7, you're gonna get 70 cents back. And honestly, that 10% back at the food court and then, you know, 2% back whenever you buy other purchases are the two big, like, factors of benefits for this card. If you are living on post, let's say you go and buy something that's $500, you get $20 back and you can use that card whenever you want because you're on post, you're purchasing things on post regularly, so it's gonna be more beneficial to you. And then, you know, generally people, you know, when they're active duty, you go on your little lunch break and everybody freaking goes to the food court. So you can save $10 whenever you do that, or you can save a whole lot more money by cooking food at home. All right, just a few more benefits I'm gonna read off. No annual fee, I think I already covered that, which basically just means you're not gonna actually pay to use this card. You should never pay to have a credit card that um, doesn't give you any kind of benefits that will outweigh whatever that fee is, right? So if there's like a $95 fee for a credit card and you're not getting $95 of benefits every year from that thing, then it's just a waste of money to have that credit card. But for this one, zero annual fee. They also have a competitive APR of 12%, which is actually really good, but then they have a penalty APR. It's like 20% and the numbers are gonna be up here. And that's basically if you don't make a payment for over 60 days. So basically if you're a couple months late, but guys with credit cards, you should never be late. You should never be late on your credit card because you should never, ever, ever pay the APR. And the other thing here, is five cents off a gallon of gas. So you go to a military base, they got these little post exchange gas stations, and if you use your military star card there, you're gonna get five cents off a gallon of gas. And then the last benefit here is they actually have a program for the, it's like the military clothing program, which is like a 0% APR on military clothing purchases if you qualify. I'm not sure what the if you qualify is for. I kind of looked up, you know, what it would be, couldn't really find anything. But I'm assuming like maybe new uniforms and stuff come out or maybe you have to get a new uniform for whatever reason. And you know, uniforms are kind of expensive sometimes if you're getting a bunch of them and it could be like four or $500. Maybe you don't have four or $500 right now. So you could use this little 0% APR thing to like, it's almost like a 0% financing in, in a sense. Now that's pretty much it for the benefits of this credit card. I didn't see anything else in their terms for the credit card and all the different benefits that you get on like purchase protection stuff, which you guys didn't know. Some credit cards out there, if you buy something that's $200 and then tomorrow it goes down in price to $150 and you can contact your credit card company and they can refund you that $50 difference. Didn't see anything like that for this credit card. And you know that that's basically it. Those are the few benefits. You got 2% back, 10% off at the food court, you get five cents off at the gas station, and that's that's pretty much it. Oh, and you have to use it on a military post. Now finally, after going over all the benefits, talking about it a little bit, do I think that you should get this credit card? Like I said before, if you are reserves or National Guard, I would honestly just recommend against it because there's gonna be plenty of other cards out there that you could get that you could use as a benefit all the time that aren't gonna be taking up space in your wallet. So reserves and National Guard people out there, I would say no, I don't recommend it for you. If you are active duty, however, and you're trying to build your credit, then yes, or I guess if you have a family in certain circumstances, you're living on post, maybe you're eating at the PX a lot, maybe you're buying all your groceries and stuff at the PX or the commissary, then that 2% off of all of your purchases will really help out a lot because you'll get that $20 cash back and you kind of just use it towards your normal purchases and it's just like a nice to have getting $20 off every now and again and the 10% off the food court, that's cool, but honestly, you shouldn't be eating at the food court like a ton, a ton, a ton, or else you're really just blowing all your money when, like I said, you could be making food at home sometimes to save money. By the way, another little perk that this the Military Star card has is I was told by them is if you go down to the shopmw.store and pick up one of these shirts, then you're gonna get 0% APR on every single purchase ever. I'm just kidding, that's not really what they said, but link is down below for this gold army paint tee. So if you are a new soldier or a new airman or a new Navy sailor, or you're a new Marine out there and you just recently joined the military and you don't have any kind of credit history whatsoever and you don't wanna just you know apply for some one credit card and get denied, this is honestly a good start to your credit history report, right? You wanna get that started really ASAP. You have to be in the military or a veteran to have this card and my, my audience isn't really veterans. So for those of you out there who are joining, once you join, then you can actually qualify for this. And I don't see any kind of reason why you should not get qualified for it. 
So, so once you get this, then later on, then you can apply for those other credit cards that I talked about where they have annual fees, but you can have them waived. And then if you're like, oh, well, you know, what if once I get out of the military? Well, you could actually then, if you don't still get the benefits from that, you could downgrade the card to a card that doesn't have an annual fee. And then boom, you got a whole bunch of free money from them. So I know this video was a little bit different than what I normally do. It's a completely different topic than what I've ever covered on this military channel before, but it is the military star card. And I know a lot of you are gonna have this thrown into your face. And now you know whether or not you're in the situation of whether or not you should get it. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. That'll be awesome. If you're gonna check out some more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell button. That would be even better. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you haven't already. Pick up some merch in the merch store. The link down in the description down below. I hope you guys have an amazing freaking day and I will see y'all later.